onto the physical statue itself. And police have been trying to get her to come down ever since. And it looks like now they're going to get that wish to be able to bring her down. So as we saw her before, she was very carefully walking uh, both her hands and her knees, trying to move around the back of the statue. And at the moment, it looks like she's not going to uh, change the way she's been walking around the statue. And again, that's how we saw her moving before when she left the... Uh, the crook of the foot there to go talk to these guys on the other side. Clearly she is taking her time and being careful. So obviously at this point there is no rush to move her now that she, now that she is secured. And that's the thing, folks, there. I see the comments on the Facebook feed. Uh, we know she was waving his shirt around for a while, and there's a message on her shirt, but unfortunately, uh, we can only get in so close with the lens. We can't read what the shirt says. So that's why we're not sure what her message is. You can see there's a message on the back, and we can try with our digital zoom to come in even more. But clearly... We can't show you what it says. It just doesn't read clear enough on the lens. Again, try to keep our distance so as not to get in the way of the emergency personnel down there. Let them do their job and not make the situation any worse than it is. So Lars is just going to slide over a little bit there, it feels like, as uh, they bring her around now to the left side of the statue. That's where all the emergency personnel seem to be uh, stationed at when we arrived. Thank you, Kathleen. So again, for the safety of everybody around her and for uh, herself, once they get her off the statue here, of course, they will take her into custody and uh, hopefully be able to find out exactly what uh, her message was up here, why she decided to uh, take this route to have her voice heard. Of course, this is the second incident on the island today. There was a group of uh, six or seven people who uh, unfurled a banner with their message. Uh, obviously, that one was a little uh, less dramatic than what we're watching here. They were on that walkway we were showing you a few minutes ago. Obviously, this person decided it was necessary to climb onto the uh, structure.
Okay, so again, for those of you who are just joining us here on the feed, you are watching the uh, resolution to a situation that started here around 3.30 this afternoon at the Statue of Liberty on Liberty Island here in New York City. Uh, there's a woman between those two officers, and she has been all around the base of this statue, uh, the actual statue itself. She climbed from the observation pedestal up onto the physical structure of the statue. When we arrived here about 45 minutes ago, she was nestled underneath the right foot that's raised on the back of the statue here, and these officers have been trying to calmly uh, bring her down without getting her upset or more agitated. And so far, everything we've seen so far has been pretty calm. As uh, about, uh, let's go about 15 minutes ago, they were able to uh, get her into custody and safely put a harness around her so that she wouldn't hurt herself or anybody else around her. And what you're watching now is just the officers trying to uh, bring her down off the ped or off the uh, statue, down to the pedestal. And if you look close enough, you can see her there, sitting with her uh, hand, with her head in her hands. As the officers now figure out logistics of trying to bring her off of the statue and down onto the walkway of the pedestal. So here we go. Hopefully now they'll be able to have her uh, get down on that ladder. Obviously there's a little bit of a gap between her and the ladder. And again, watching the feed here and seeing some of the messages and comments that are going to be posted up here in the questions. But that's why they have the harness on her. So that way if uh, she does slip or something happens, she has the safety of the harness that will protect her from falling off of the statue. Didn't get the, I guess this didn't happen for them today. And again, what's kind of amazed me through this whole thing is just how calm from what we've seen, how calm everything has been. You can see as they talk back and forth, she's just calmly talking to them. And now it looks like she's going to try to make her attempt to get on to the ladder we see that the officer on the left hand side of the picture is standing on he'll try to guide her feet onto those rungs and looks like they've been able to accomplish that now she is on the ladder And you'll notice the officer is using the carabiner there. And as he goes down the ladder, he's just connecting himself to that ladder that's also secured to the statue's pedestal. Obviously uh, not taking any chances whatsoever. You know, something you got to keep in mind that we were talking about on the uh, broadcast side a little while ago is you got to be careful of the wind up there. And if you... Look at that orange ladder off to the left side there with the yellow straps. You can see the uh, the pieces of paper on those yellow straps kind of flapping in the wind there a little bit. So the wind could have an issue or it could be an issue as you're going down that ladder. So everything is secured to the statue just to make sure nothing falls and everything ends here in the best way possible.
Then you can see uh, several more ESU uh, NYPD guys, officers, I should say, standing there at the uh, base of that ladder. Looks like our uh, National Guard guys also coming in here as well. Obviously, everybody will make sure that uh, the lady on the uh, ladder there uh, is securely on the ground. And again, she is still wearing the harness that the other two uh, NYPD officers provided her, and they got to her over there by the right foot. And now you can see she appears to be safely off the ladder. And now what they'll do is unhook her from the safety gear. <laughs> and now they're bringing her inside the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty.